Hi everybody, my name is Philip McGuinness and I'm a teacher in Cranach College in Bunkrana in County Donegal and I'm also the JESH coordinator in the school. I want to thank Ceci first of all for this opportunity to showcase how we utilise technology to progress our, progress our JESH plan within the school. I also want to acknowledge the hard work by the staff in Cranach College, particularly the JESH team in order to develop this plan and bring it to where it is today. So ultimately my aim as JESH coordinator was to make JESH work for students, for school, for staff, for our whole community, but in particular for it to become a program that was understood by staff and was accessible to all. So this presentation is based on how I have utilized technology that's already in place so everyone can experience what I would describe as a one-stop shop for JESH. So the first thing I'm going to look at is our actual JESH site. So I used here Google Sites, which is ultimately like a website platform. So as you can see, this is our Cranach College JESH site. And as you scroll down, I have in sections here, all the JESH presentations that I would have carried out to date with our staff. So when you click on this link, you can go in and access whichever presentation you would like. So this has is open access to staff at all times. Also, the other links that I have here on the JESH site are specific areas. For example, we have the Crana JESH plan, our monitor and evaluation section of our plan that's done quite regularly, and also a report that would follow that at the end of the year the evidence collected throughout our planning and also what evidence there is to suggest that we're carrying out our JESH plan. Surveys of students and also staff, staff planning days, our JESH teams and our specific roles and also a section for parents. Down below here also on the JESH site you can see that we have a JESH cluster group area that we work with other schools and um, also the PDST in particular when we're working with the digital learning framework plan. And finally, official JESH documentation um, in order to for staff to look at any specific information in relation to their subject. So everything is here on this website. I've gone through this with staff and they, they understand it. So the first area I suppose I want to look at is Google Forms and the power of Google Forms and how important they were. So another, um, another piece of technology that I use would have been Google Forms. So for example, if I'm looking at the student surveys, I would have, with our junior cycle, for example, I would have in here the survey and you click in the survey, I created a Google Form and in this, I looked at maybe a specific, specific year group. In this case, it was second year. And we asked them, did they participate in our tester program? How confident are you in oral presentation? How many books have you read in the last four weeks, etc.? And this continues on for all of the areas under literacy, numeracy. So specific questions that our JESH teams would have come up with. But what's great about Google Forms, as I'm sure you're already aware, is how instant the data you get back is. So we would have surveyed parents, we would have surveyed staff, we would have surveyed students. We also would have carried out surveys with specific groups, focus groups, groups who you would normally not get information back from. Um, and also what we did here then was we sent out an email or a text in order to get these um, this data back and we had an increase of about 60% in response rates. So we were confident then that the data we were using was reliable data in order for us to go ahead with our JESH plan. So I would absolutely recommend the use of Google Forms in particular for accessing data regarding your JESH plan. Once all that data came back, um, from from the from staff, students, parents, etc. 
anybody involved in our Jay's plan. What I would like to have done then is I generally would have presented this information to staff. So what I would do here is I would use maybe a few different um, options, particularly Prezi. I really liked using the platform Prezi to do this. I felt it was very user friendly, but it also helped engage staff. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with using Google Slides or PowerPoint or, or any of the others also, but there was something about the, the Prezi um, option that made it very real to the staff and they engaged with it a lot better than they would have if I had used an other um, option. So once I presented the information and what we wanted the staff to do then, what we looked at then was the planning. And in relation to the planning, what I found that was really, really helpful was Padlet. So I use Padlet in two ways. I used it, first of all, for the collection of data from the department. So as you can see here under literacy, numeracy, attainment, etc. But as I scroll down, you can get each department's um, information that they believe is required in order for us to improve our GH plan. And this was open access to all the staff, so they were able within their departments to upload this onto the platform. I also used Padlet for the collection of evidence. And this, this is where I feel that it's really, really powerful. And again, this was open access to all staff. So what happened here was in order for us to prove that we actually are carrying out our JH plan and looking at the specific themes of numeracy or literacy, I asked staff that any of these areas that they were carrying out to please upload it onto our system. So if we had partnership with parents and we had a coffee morning that you know we uploaded the image of that happening, or if we had a specific group that we were working with during our LGBT inclusiveness, we would also put up images of that or any information regarding that. So you can put up videos, you can put up photos, you can put up uh, data, anything that you feel is appropriate can be added to the list here. And it's a really good way of collecting evidence from your GH plan. So Padlet is another, another very powerful tool that I found that was very, very helpful for GH plan. Another area that was very useful um, was the area of present and presentation in particular was Powtoon. So for example, with students, with staff, I use Powtoon, but I also used it for parents and a, a way to engage parents in the process. So Powtoon is a technology that you can buy or you can use on a free basis, but it's like a cartoon situation where you describe or summarize a process in a very user-friendly way, in a way that keeps it simple. And what we would have done as a school is I would have sent this out by email to parents, but also by a text message and the parents would watch. And maybe I'd also have a survey attached with it so the parents would get back to me with information. So I found it a very powerful tool to get what we would describe as a lot of work and a lot of information into maybe a two or three minute video. And I found that that's the maximum amount of time that any video should be in order to keep the, keep the audience engaged, particularly parents with school stuff like that. Um, also would have used things, basic technologies like Google Docs, sending out to parents, you know, what we would like them to do, what we feel their role is as, um, as parents to help us with JISH. So this was sent out as well via text message and they had access to it through a Google Docs. So trying to keep everything in the one area, um, also putting it on our school website also to make it even more accessible. So again, I've kind of gone through there, Google Sites, Google Forms, Powtoon, Padlet, Prezi, Google Sheet or Google, um, all, all these different areas. And, and we used others as well, like we used, the use of mind maps and classrooms to put up what our 
actions were in the classroom. We would have uh, used the VS where in order to update members of staff on what is happening in Jesh. But more than anything, the big area that we, we definitely, or I definitely found to be the most beneficial was the area using Google Sheets. Google Sheets was massively important in order to keep all our JS plan together and update staff. So I'll just click in here to give you a brief summary, but in our Krana JS plan, we, as I said, use Google Sheets. And I will. this is what it looks like on the JS site. I'll also click into it directly here on my tabs and to give you a bigger image of it so you can see it more clearly. So the opening page has got all the themes, the JS, the JS themes, all our JS groups that are in place, but also hyperlinks to all of the particular areas. And I find hyperlinks very, very user-friendly as well for the JS plan. So when you click into any of these, you can access our Crana College Digital Learning Framework Plan, the National Digital Learning Framework Plan. You can uh, access our JCSP plan, our department Padlet wall, even our careers list, our reading list for the school, um, our monitor document. Everything is there via hyperlink and it can be accessed um, very easily. So just to give you an example, if I click in this document, it'll take us directly to or digital learning framework plan, and all staff have, have access to this as well. So they can easily link in just to make sure that they're carrying out the appropriate digital plan that we have for school, particularly now at, the, at, the, at these times. So it's all there, school vision, brief account on, on, on what, we, what we are doing and what we would like staff to do in the classroom. So that is now all linked to our JH plan. But the real power of Google Sheets was in each of the eight themes. So for example, if I take literacy as an example, you can see here now that we have our targets here that what we want to happen. So we wanted in our school in particular to look at oral presentation and reading. These were the areas that came back from our surveys as areas that we feel that we need to you know, focus on. The oral presentation mainly came from the CBAs um, it was an area that popped up that was in need of attention and also just reading in general to improve the, the reading amongst our, our age groups. So we looked at this, you know, what we do in the class level. So you can see here that these are all the things we do in a class level. And again, a hyperlink is attached in what we, you know, our reading list is there for each specific subject. So when you click in using Google Docs from that specific area on reading, you can see what every department has suggested that they would like their junior students and their senior students to be reading in relation to their specific subject. And again, this all automatically updates on our JH plan as it's changed throughout the monitor and evaluation section. So again, just back to our JH plan, we have also our subject department level. So when I click on this link as well, it'll bring us directly into our Padlet wall again of all the recommendations that we felt or actions that we should carry out as a department in order to improve literacy, numeracy um, through our Padlet wall. Apologies, it's just loading up the broadband here, but I've showed this earlier. So all of the actions for each of the eight areas are there and are hyperlinked as well into each of the sections. So again, making it accessible for staff um, so they can refer to it whenever they want. Um, also on the JH plan then, we've got all our whole school approach and the target and how it's linked to that. Who's the lead responsibility? Who is looking after it in general? What time of the year does this take place? And a hyperlink linking it to a specific area. So as you scroll on down, so we, as we have our targets, we have our classroom actions, we have our subject department actions, we have our whole school approach. And then as we move down then as well, after all of that, we have what described as our monitor document and our evaluation document. Um, and also you can see in this page of link to um, looking at our schools. So how our actions are linked to the looking at our schools document. And that's all placed on the Google Sheets also. But the monitor sheet and the evaluation sheet were 
hugely beneficial. Again, using Google Sheets all the time, you can see here that we were able to monitor all that was happening. We were able to monitor our staff through Google Forms, get statistics back. We were able to look to see if we had carried out everything in our whole school approach. And we also did an evaluation or an analysis on this to see how we could improve this going forward. And again, that can be seen from our JH plan um, from the evaluation section. So really what I've done here, everybody, is that what I've made using Google, all these technologies, I've just made it a much easier, a more accessible way of locating all the information that our staff and our students and our parents need from one area. And then the ma major benefit of it is that when I update it, when a department updates it, it updates automatically and changes on the screen as well. So as you can see then, when we look at our evaluation, we're able to say you know, that there has been an improvement or that it hasn't improved and why that may be the case and suggestions going forward, what we could do to further improve it for our next JH plan or the next year, or have we met a target and if we're doing really well on that target, then maybe we can, you know, you know, just keep doing what we're doing there and don't change anything. We also get figures back on what we're doing on a department level and also a whole school level. So again, everything on the one document, everything on Google Sheets, everything accessible for all members of the community, but also limited access, as I said. We do not give out this level of information to our students or maybe our parents. We would give a summary document that would be sent out at the end of the year um, to parents um, to show them how we're getting on in our Crana College JH plan. Um, I also want to say thank you to Lorraine Cunahan in PDST. She also worked with me on this. And as I said, a major thank you to our management and staff in Crana College. And I hope you have taken away some information from this. I'm very aware that it was very quick, um, but this is all the time we had to showcase um, this particular area that I wanted to, to explain to you. So thank you very much and best wishes to you all this, uh, during these circumstances. Bye-bye.